Hello, I'm Steve Olson, a technical specialist for Autodesk. In this video, I'd like to share a workflow that will allow you to use the automated drawings feature in Fusion on your inventor designs. So lots of times when Fusion gets a really cool feature like generative design or automated drawings, inventor users are like, well, when's that gonna come to inventor? Or, or you know, how long do I have to wait for that to be added to inventor? You don't have to wait. You can start leveraging that now. I actually did some testing with the automated drawings feature in Fusion, and it works on step files. It works on inventor files. You just have to get your inventor file there. So I'm gonna go through a quick workflow that will show you how to leverage that. So here is my inventor design, and I will say I am using Vault. So let me switch over to there, and I'll show you that I have my design in it in Vault too. So it's here in Vault, and I'm actually using Project Sync to push this to Fusion. Now, I will say that Inventor does have a feature that will allow me to upload this to Fusion directly without having to use Vault. Now, I will say on an assembly, it ends up deriving it into an IPT that it ends up putting in Fusion is going to somewhat break the link between the assembly and the actual parts that's put there. So this way, it's going to push the actual files there. If it's a, just a single part file, that function will work perfectly fine. But this is an assembly, so I want to get all the parts there. So let me switch to Fusion. So again, we have to take a couple steps to make sure that we're not breaking the associativity between the assembly and what the drawing is going to be based on. So here I have to do a little bit of a, maybe of an odd maneuver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save and I'll just call this um, reference to trailer hitch. Just something that I know that that's what I'm pulling and I'm going to put it in the same folder as the trailer hitch. So I know where to find it. And then inside the trailer hitch folder, I'm going to find the assembly. Here's the full assembly. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say insert into current design. And this seems like an odd position. So I'll rotate it 90 degrees here, say OK. And that looks pretty good. So let me save this. So those first couple steps, all they were, were getting the design from Inventor into Vault, into Fusion, and then placing it in a Fusion design that I could create the drawing from. Again, if I went and just kind of converted that initial file into a Fusion design, I'd be breaking the associativity between the Inventor file and what Fusion have, because it's really set more or less an export at that point. So I'm just gonna now just follow the same process I would as if this is a native Fusion design to create the automated drawing. So I'm gonna go up here to File, and I will say New Drawing from Design. I'm gonna switch to Automatic, and I wanna make sure it's an ASME, inch, everything look good, looks good, full assembly. I will say all levels. And I do want to make sure I check this external components because this is, again, an inventor file that has references to these other components. That way, I'll get sheets for all of those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So Fusion is doing its thing where it's going to create that drawing here in just a few seconds. It should be available. All right, so there it is. It's ready for me to open. I'll open that up. So here are all my sheets. See, it did a pretty decent job of creating these. Maybe it's not 100% perfect, but just imagine how much time it would take for me to create each of these sheets, create all of these dimensions. It's definitely a very good starting point or way to springboard into the all the, the things I need, maybe move some dimensions around, whatnot. All right, so we have a drawing here in Fusion. I'll give it a quick save to save this. 
So now that we have our drawing done, this is a fusion drawing. And let's say we would like to have this drawing exist in Vault with the CAD file that is there as well. These fusion drawings don't always go back into Vault and actually they don't go into Vault because Fusion's aware and Vault's aware that they these files should stay in the cloud storage. But what we can do is we can go up here to export and either export a PDF or a DWG. It's really up to you at this point. I'm gonna go with a DWG and it's gonna ask for, you know, AutoCAD DWG or Simplify DWG. I usually stick with the AutoCAD. Say, okay. And I'll get a dialog box asking for, you know, what to call this file. I'll call it trailer, pitch, drawing, demo. And it's gonna ask for our AutoCAD file format, which is 2013, it's my only option at this point. I will tell it to save it inside the trailer hitch folder as well. And then I'm also could save it to my desktop. I do this occasionally. I've had a few instances where it doesn't automatically get saved back into the cloud storage for whatever reason. Maybe the drawing existed before and I deleted it for some reason. I typically work through workflows before I do the demos on them. So that's probably what ends up happening to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and save this. We'll give it a few minutes to allow it to create that drawing and save it back into Fusion here. So you can see that that DWG is now in Fusion and we can use Project Sync to pull that file back in. So I'm gonna minimize this, jump back over to my vault and I can tell it that I want to download from Cloud Drive. It's part of this Vault Fusion Sync inside this folder, inside my trailer hitch. There's that trailer hitch demo DWG. I'll download it. And this is where the job processor and desktop connector will act to pull that file in. We'll give it a few moments to do that. So now if I refresh, I should see that DWG. So it looks like there's actually was another one that was that I asked for it to synchronize, which is fine. If I click on this one here to preview, you might find that it probably won't preview properly. That's one thing I've noticed with these is normally when you check in a file, it will either create that viewable while you're checking it in or the job processor will do that. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to update with the job processor, we'll let that take control and, and up that here, update that here in just a second. So now that it is been updated, if I click on this, it should preview just like any other DWG would. And with these, because the model tab is empty, you would probably have to switch to a different tab here to view, but there is the drawing then. So there you can see that the automated drawings feature in Fusion can still be used by Inventor users. You just have to get your file over to Fusion and then decide if you wanna bring your DWG or PDF back to where you would normally store your drawings. So I thank you for taking time to watch this video. Feel free to leave questions or comments in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think about this workflow.